upon a time, there lived a man by the name of Giovanni Battista Lui. He was born in Italy but moved to France when he was 14. And he loved France so much that he changed his name to Jean Baptiste Lully. He was the court composer for the most important king in Europe's history, Louis XIV. And his orchestra was special. Louis was a very strict man. Louis had strict rules on bowing patterns. And everyone in the section had to play the same bowings just like today. During a time when the leader of an orchestra was often the concertmaster or the harpsichordist. Luli sometimes stood in front of the orchestra with a big fat stick. Ha ha ha, don't worry not to beat people. But to beat time and make sure the entire orchestra stays with his beat. Some people therefore say that he is one of the world's first conductors. One fateful day, while he was conducting his own piece, he accidentally pierced his toe with his big fat stick and refused to have it amputated so he could continue dancing. This caused a horrible infection. And then he died from this infection. Oh. Yes. I mean, talk about dedication, but sh is a pretty epic way to die. He might have died unglamorously, but he left behind a huge legacy of glorious music. And crystallized what came to be known as the French Baroque style. Proud, refined, and elegant. Unlike those uncivilized Italians. But yet with a self contained passion. Such as in his March of the Turks. hitch my toe this time. I think I've got the most difficult job in the world. Oof. What's for dinner? Great. On my way.
Oh boy, what a performance! Great job, Red Dot Baroque. One day, the conductor stabbed his big toe and then he died! During a time when the concert mark <laughs> So he could continue Dian 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 Dancing Did you need a cameraman? No Okay, you say once upon a time Once upon a time